right, so this one, uh, we want to find the internal loads, right? The internal shear normal bending moment at point C and point D. So it matters where, where we cut it. This is two separate problems. First, we're going to cut it at C. Then we're going to cut it at D. Uh, two separate problems. Let me clarify here, though. Let's cut it um, just to the right of that 8 kip force. So, so let's say it, it, it does feel that 8 kip force, um, and, and, and we're going to cut it to the right of there. All right, because it, it matters whether you do we include that 8 kip force or do we not include it. So we're going to do it just to the right. All right, so uh, before we get started, let's look at the whole free body diagram. And let's solve for AY, AX, and BY. Mm, all right, let me try to do this um, really quick. So summing the forces in the X direction, AX, that's it. So AX is 0. Summing the forces in the Y direction, AY minus A plus BY equals 0. And then summing the moments, let's sum the moments about A. We've got 8 kips acting 8 feet away, creating a negative moment. Uh, we've got a positive 40, and we've got a uh, BY acting 8, 8, 8, what is that, 24, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, equal to 0. Uh, but this is what we should get. We should get BY is 1 kip, and then AY would be 7 kips. All right, so I expect that you remember how to do that, and I hope that you can kind of do it uh, pretty quickly because that's not the main part of the problem. The main part of the problem is cutting it, solving for N, V, and M. All right, so let's cut it here. I'm, I'm going to draw this over here, try to have make room, and I'm cutting it right here just to the right. Uh, so I've got an AY of 7, an AX of 0, so I don't think I'll even draw it. I've got that 8 kip right there. All right, let me draw N that way, V that way, and M that way. Draw it in the positive sign convention. Draw it in the positive sign convention. All right, this dimension, 8 feet. Um, I'm not going to grade your drawings for this problem. This problem, um, I'm going to assume you drew it in the positive sign convention, so I, I don't need to look at how you guessed or how you drew it. Uh, but, you know, it, it is kind of helpful to make it self-sufficient like, like I like to do. So, uh, now, after you've drawn it in the positive sign convention, now these three equations, these three equations are <clears throat> according to the axes, all right? So, so we've drawn it in the positive sign convention, but now x is positive to the right, y is positive up, m is positive counterclockwise. And, you know, we set them equal to zero, so it really doesn't matter what direction you make these equations as long as you are uh, consistent with yourself, all right? But anyway, draw them in the positive sign convention, but when you're going back to these axes, these axes, let's go back and let's sum the forces to the right, N, that's it. So N is zero. So, you know, it, 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 this one did not have an N. It's fine. Sometimes these will come out to be zero. Sum of the force in Y. We've got seven up minus eight and minus V. Why did I put minus V? Because every, I'm staying consistent and, and this is positive up. So that seven is up, that eight is down, that V is down. Uh, set this equal to zero. And be careful. Don't make a, a silly um, math mistake. This would be V is negative 1 kip. This one says V is negative 1 kip. I'm boxing that in. I'm leaving it as negative 1 kip. All right? And then M, uh, you can sum your moments about any point. I like to sum my moments about the cut. Uh, just sum your moments about the you know, easiest point that you can. I'm summing the moments about the cut so that N goes straight through it, V goes straight through it. I drew it off, of, but the V is really on that cut. Um, the 8 goes straight through it. We're, we're saying it's basically going straight through it. Uh, so let's see, and I like to choose positive uh, counterclockwise. So this would be M. I don't have any um, dimension for that because 
it's already a moment. It's not a force that I need to multiply times a distance. Whereas this 7 kip is 8 feet away, creating about the cut, creating a negative moment. Set those equal to 0. So the M right there at point C, the internal moment at point C, is 56. My um, forces were in kips. My dimensions were in feet. So 56 kip feet. All right. So I was trying to make room. I probably could have just drawn this down here. All right. Uh, and, and so now that, that, that's the answer for point C. And, and sometimes I, that's all I'll ask, right? Just one point. But this one, I also want, want you to cut it at point D here. All right. So put it back together. Don't try to, don't try to just look at, you know, don't say, oh, I've already cut it at C and now I'm cutting it at D. Um, I would put it back together and just, just start over. Separate problem. Cut it at D. And, you know, which side do you want to keep? You could keep either side. And we'd end up with the same answer. So we might kind of try to, to look at that for this one. Uh, but I don't know. Since, since I've already cut this side, I'm, I think I'm going to keep on going from this direction. And so I'm going to cut it right here. N, V, and M. And what did we have here? We had seven kips right there. We had eight kips right there. And I think that was it. Uh, maybe draw these dimensions eight feet. Eight feet. Maybe draw my axes. And now I can sum the forces in the x direction. N is zero. Sum the forces in the y direction. Seven minus eight minus V equals zero. V negative one kip. So yeah, sometimes N and V may not change, you know, especially if there's nothing in here to change them in between C and D. Um, but just recalculate them. Just recalculate. If you're doing a different point, recalculate that. All right, now I'm going to sum moments at the cut. N goes straight through the cut. V goes straight through the cut. Um, I've got that M. You know, I want to choose positive counterclockwise. Uh, so that is M right there. And then 8 is 8 away, creating also a positive moment. Uh, but then the 7 is 16 feet away, creating a positive or creating a negative moment. So I would get this M is, I think, got positive 48 kip feet. So boxed in, leave it right there. So that's, I'm looking for these three things boxed in and the correct sign. I'm not looking at your drawing. I'm not looking to see, did you cut it and look, keep the right half or cut it and keep the left half? Let's, let's actually go back. What if we had cut it and kept the right side of it? What if we had cut it and kept the right side of it? I don't think I'll do all this math, but I think we could kind of figure this out. I've got uh, the one kip right here from B. BY was one. I've got 40 kip feet right here. All right, and then I would draw N that way. I would draw V that way, and I would draw M that way. Uh, would we still get N is zero? Would we still get V is negative one? Kip, do you see why this would be negative one? If I sum the forces, V plus one equals zero. V would be negative one. And then the moment, um, you know, the moment we should still get positive 48 kip feet, positive 48 kip feet, because we've got a positive 40, and then a 1 times 8, and then a negative m right here. All right, so you could have cut it and kept either side. I generally cut it and keep the simpler side, right? Cut it and keep the simpler side, so maybe this right side would have been a little bit better to keep, or you can double check your work. All right, if for some reason you cut it, and keep one side and cut it and the other side and, and they do not equal the same thing, then you made a mistake probably or possibly in this very beginning. Maybe BY is not one kip on the right side and, you know, AY. So um, you will get the same answer whether you cut the right, cut it and keep the right or the left, um, left half.